Hello, great to the ancient miniature man, and I've got the unbagging of the Greek Hoplites, the new set from Victrix. Exciting because they have uh, seemingly finished their ancient collection and moved on to Dark Ages and World War II stuff, Napoleonic stuff, even showed some images of some medieval things, so I thought they probably wouldn't be doing any more ancient, but they have, and that's a big fat bonus to the Great Southern Ancient Miniature Man. So they, uh, just in the way of, well, first up, let's just say, there's 48 guys in the, uh, the box and just one sprue, which is repeated six times. I uh, know eight times, because there's six guys per sprue, six, eight, 48, yeah. So you get eight sprues the same. Um, should we look at the sprue first? Yeah, let's do that. So essentially, you might recall the other Greek hoplite sets, which there were four, they all had the same set of bodies and there were only four bodies altogether. So here we get six bodies, one, two, three, four, five, six. This one done in two halves, I'm not quite sure why. I guess the idea was you could um, position the torso a little bit differently, but they actually have a little socket there and a uh, groove there that so sort of shows you how to connect them which means they're not actually um, going to be varied in their position and therefore what's the point of making them in two different halves i don't understand it really if you had two sets of two guys with two halves then you can make four different configurations but as it is you can only make one so it seems an odd thing to me but anyway uh let's not focus on the negatives because it's a fantastic kit so <laughs> Much more dynamic than the previous Greek Hoplites sets from Victrix. Uh, but the absolute highlight is these incredible heads. So, um, and a lot of them. So let's go through and see how many we've got. So all of them come, well most of them, come with crests that you can attach. So obviously you can have it with or without that crest. So that increases the um, number of unique heads. But let's go one, two, three, six there. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 per sprue it looks like. For just six guys. Uh, yes, six, six guys. So that's fantastic. Heaps of spare heads. So if you've got other sets, you can obviously use some of these uh, really exciting and ornate kind of helmets with those other sets. Enough shields for everyone. The usual Aspis with a nice uh, little bit of detailing on the back that Victrix does. Uh, and heaps of spears and heaps of swords. So I think there's enough for it, all of them to be either. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven swords. So yep, everyone can be a swordsman. And three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Heaps, thirteen. Way more than enough for all of them to be spearmen. So it's brilliant. A lot of variation and variety and a lot of spare parts that you'll have left over to help kit bash and uh, do other stuff with. Uh, they've got a number of different types of um, sidearms. One, two, three, four. They're all different and unique uh, scabbards. And there's a couple of these other ones which they have featured in their previous sets. Oh, there's two more as well. So again, very generous with the amount of spare parts you will have once building these let's look a bit more at some of these amazing helmets so look at this one fantastic the two sort of serpents and then the double crest these classic sort of spartan looking ones spartan generals uh, a few of them have the long hair extensions and the long hair at the front so i suggest that one i'm going to use as a spartan one um, and a bit of variety with the um, with their armor too. So you've got the muscle cuirass there, and you've got a few linear thoraxes, three of them, and then you've got two with a scale as well. Linear thorax with a scale section in the middle, which is, looks brilliant. Just a quick look at these other heads. It's nice Illyrian helmets, which you can do with a crest, or you can have them without. severed head yeah beautiful so the history of these you're possibly aware they brought out a set of just the heads a while back 
and they were snapped up very quickly even though they were relatively expensive compared to the other Victrix things. They just uh, ran off the shelf Victrix so they'd send me a set. They never got around to it probably because they um, sold out too quickly. Um, and then they decided they might as well make a, uh, a full set to go with a head so they've brought this out and then surprisingly they have now brought out their heads again because they're unavailable for a while so you can buy the heads just on their own but um, uh, I'm not sure why you would bother because they are considerably cheaper per head when you get a set like this plus obviously you get all the bodies and everything so um, yeah this seems like a much better option to me uh, it'd be nice if they put out a few more headsets of some of the more um, obscure factions such maybe the Illyrians or something but anyway I'm sure they'll consider that so these looking excellent I'm gonna get to work put a few together and uh, usual story I will bring a review on the turntable of some of the completed guys I'm gonna kit bash a few of them with other sets and also with um, uh, with making them into some guys other than Greeks. So I'll see you soon for that. Righto, strap yourselves in miniature fans because we've got a bit of a treat here. This is the completed uh, view of the new Greek hoplites by Victrix. Now the first few I'm going to put up are Puritans. They are just using that set alone, although some of the shields might be borrowed from a few other places. So that's my uh, Athenian. Here we've got a Corinthian. Got a fantastic uh, expression pose on his face, really... Uh, Charging in, screaming, blood-curdling roar. And then we've got a Cryptera from uh, Sparta. Evil-looking guy with the uh, head of a uh, helot <laughs> in his uh, hand. Poor little helot. Um, and then one more with the uh, Greco-Illyrian helmet on. He could be another... Athenian if he wanted to be. He's got the uh, blood splattered shield from uh, the nice set that Carthage must be destroyed put out. Um, super dynamic as we thought. Uh, fabulous helmets just so full of character and expression and very dynamic figures as you can see. So I'll give them a little run around and then I've got a whole lot of kit bashed ones that use Parts of this kit and parts of other Victrix sets, and then other um, other manufacturers get to play as well. So putting them together was pretty easy, as I thought they were better produced, like uh, technically, than the earlier Victrix sets. So there was less um, mold lines needing to be cleaned off. But there's still always a little bit of assembly looking around to do. So this guy is obviously from one of the unarmored hoplite sets. Another beautiful helmet. Another Athenian. And we've got a Tajian to go with my previous set the Spartans reviewed. Um, so he's got the leaning forward body, the um, aggressive attacking sort of pose and the, uh, the the Spartan head off the previous set. Here's one of the Victrix archers with one of these new helmets. And then this guy getting into the next realm of non Victrix figures. So that's a relic uh, archer, relic from Canada with the Victrix helmet, another super helmet. And it didn't fit terribly well, so I just did that sort of. Um, scarf around his neck to uh, well to make it fit nicely so I'm very happy with those guys and just shows the versatility of these helmets obviously they are perfectly compatible with all the Victrix stuff but not a big deal to fit them on non-Victrix guys speaking of non-Victrix guys let's get my one and only cavalry man who's utilizing one of these helmets up next give him a look so he's from um, Aventine Miniatures 
and he's a successor guy but I did him obviously with one of these uh, more classical era uh, Greek helmets Corinthian style helmets he looks pretty damn mean <laughs> um, who else a couple more Greeks to come so that body of the new set but the helmet is from the old war games factory and then this is the opposite this is the war games factory body with the uh, victrix helmet corinthian helmet so a couple more pretty awesome dudes i'd say and then i can squeeze over lucky last two are from the punic wars so i've taken the bodies and I've just uh, made this guy into a Roman. And then he's going to be up against his arch enemy, Carthaginian. And actually, of all these figures, that one is one of my favorites. Carthaginian came out beautifully. So he's got the, uh, see that scale uh, section to his armor in the middle, which looks brilliant, I reckon. Uh, the right arm holding the spear is from V and V miniatures. So he's a good kit bash, really. Um, yeah, the rest of his stuff is. Oh, actually, that is from War Games Factory as well. That uh, side arm sword. So yeah, he's quite a versatile, very guy. Let's get them facing off against each other. So uh, fabulous figures. Chuck on a few more, um, and I'll just wind up here. Look at this guy. He's one of the best. Scary helmet. <laughs> And what else can I go? I love this uh, archer from Relic. He's come out really well. Who else? This red guy. Also beauty in the unarmored set. So pretty sweet guys. The the positives are everything you've seen. The amazing helmets. The beautiful um, uh, beautiful figures. Very dynamic. The only negatives are, uh, if you can find any, it doesn't come with any capes, doesn't come with any instruments, uh, so no musicians and no banners, which most of the previous kits have. But I guess I'd probably expect that you would already have one of the other kits, so you can obviously utilise those components out of those other kits. Um, on my previous video about the Spartans, Legio X217 asked which set he would, I would recommend more, the, the Spartans or these guys. Uh, hard to say straight up I think they're both brilliant it depends what you want really if you're wanting these sort of real character figures and um, and dynamic figures then definitely these guys are the way to go because they have a lot of helmets which are really Spartan anyway in them so and if you were particularly keen on Spartans you'd get quite a lot out of the set um, but if you want a whole lot of guys sort of ranked up uh, for war games that require that for mass battles, then you're better off with one of the older kits because these guys being so dynamic, you can't really put them in big units. They're just going to be all bumping into each other and getting in each other's way. So to my way of thinking, I actually bought two uh, boxes of these or two bags of these guys. I think I'm going to sell one bag on eBay just because they're kind of... Yeah, these sort of character figures, I don't want a big mass of them, I just want a small number to kind of um, yeah, to slot into various armies and uh, and be those special figures. So um, you can buy single sprues of these uh, on eBay and you know if you're wanting a small sort of collection or a small army and you just want a few of these amazing figures and you want some of the brilliant heads, then that would be a good option. Uh, and the other way, if you want... The more ranked up figures but you want some of these helmets you can as i said earlier you can buy the set of helmets on their own again now so there's plenty of options there um and whichever way you go i think you'll be going to be pretty happy with these big tricks figures uh i hope that is useful to some people i am a little bit uh swamped by greeks at the moment so i'm just moving on a few egyptian guys to get back into my persian satrapies program Hopefully I'll get them done soon, but there are some more beautiful uh, metal Greeks coming to me from WIP miniatures. So as soon as I get hold of them, I will begin work on them too. So one of those two sort of videos will be up next, WIP Greeks or some nice Egyptians, which are from um, uh, Vendor Thistle and Rose. So don't miss out. Stay tuned.
I will see you there and then. Don't forget to subscribe and like and comment and uh, let me know what you're thinking about these video about these videos and these figures. See ya.